Hey yo, run it up, 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 all right, Ty, we got to talk at the Big Sky Football kickoff, and you know now the, the football season is in motion. Does it feel like it's just flying by this final drive with Montana State? Absolutely. I, I mean, it, it's incredible how how fast time has gone here, and, and I've, I've been here for an extra few years, granted, you know, given COVID. So it, it's just flown by, especially this year. with We're already three games down, getting ready for conference play. To your point, it's just flying by. Well, as we gear up into conference play, you know, your name, Ty Okada, is a name that a lot of Big Sky teams know, especially probably those opposing offenses. But I wouldn't say that was necessarily the case in 2017 when you joined this program as a walk-on. How does a kid from Minnesota end up at Montana State? You know, that's that's a long story. But um, Co Coach Andy Hill, actually, uh, a rival coach of mine, coached at he's the head coach at Woodbury High School, where I'm from, but I, I went to Eastridge. Um, reached out on my behalf and, and very thankful for him and, and get, getting me connected with the Montana State coaches and, and just speaking on my behalf and, and getting in touch with them is what, is what helped me get here. You were a multi-sport athlete in high school. You were ready to go play to Division Three, play baseball and football. How crazy to think that, you know, seven years later, you're playing at a Division One, getting ready to close out your college football career? Yeah, no, it's wild and it's been an incredible journey and I wouldn't change a thing and I'm very thankful for it all. And actually another another piece of that is I didn't even know I was going to possibly wrestle too. Those were actually my only other two offers were to wrestle other than play at Division Three for both football and baseball. And so I, I, I never really was considering wrestling because that takes a whole different breed of person. I commend anyone out there who's wrestling in college. Um, so yeah, no, it's been an incredible journey and I wouldn't change a thing. You've mentioned Coach Hill a couple times with just how he's, you know, was a big playing factor in how he got you here. He actually didn't even coach you. He was your rival high school coach. Can you just talk about uh, that relationship with him? Yeah, definitely. And, and I mean, that means a lot. So speaking on how he was a rival coach of ours and we've had some great games back and forth between our high school and his high school. And, and just the relationship. My brother actually ended up going, graduating from Woodbury High School and he built a connection with Andy Hill through one of his classes. And so already having that pre-established relationship helped me you know, kind of get connected with Coach Hill and just letting him know like, hey, I, I, this is my goal. I want to play at the highest level possible. I know that you have the connections. Is there any way that you could help me out with that? And he was super open and, and willing to do that. And I just can't thank him enough for that. Well, he was a driving force on getting you here, and I wouldn't say your path has necessarily been straightforward. You started out on special teams, you dabbled in a little bit of corner, then finally found your way to nickel, and then even sprinkled in there were a lot of injuries. Did it ever feel kind of overwhelming? I would say at the time, you know, it'd be pretty naive of me to say that it wasn't at the time. You know, hindsight 2020, going through all those things has allowed me to get to that to this very spot right here. So, so like I said earlier, I, I wouldn't change a thing about it. And to your point, there was a lot going on a lot of changes, but, but through all those experiences, it's allowed me to gain perspective and develop me into the player and the person that I am today. And so I'm thankful for it all. You know, walk on to scholarship is one thing, but walk on to team captain is a whole other feat within itself. Six years ago, did you ever think that this is how you would be playing out your final year at Montana State? No, not at all. I really couldn't, I couldn't have dreamt of this, but it, the experience and just getting to this point is something that I'm extremely thankful for. And it's been a blessing. Especially when you take a look back at, you know, starting on as a walk on for Minnesota, you know, Montana State was actually a school you'd looked at not even necessarily to play football. How crazy that you're riding it out here, a town that you actually grew to love before you even knew you're gonna play football here. Yeah, no, it's it's absolutely incredible. And it's wild for sure, because I remember applying here thinking Bozeman looks beautiful. And, and I'd be thankful just to go to school here and spend my time here because Bozeman and being in Montana just sounds like a blast. And so to be able to to play football for the Cats has just been an experience I'm incredibly thankful for. Now we're walking this field right here and it's crazy to think that, you know, in just a couple of short months, you're going to walk it for your last time. What do you want Bobcat fans in the stands to remember about number seven? That he's just someone that plays with a lot of passion and love for his teammates and is willing to do anything and everything for his teammates and, and for his guys to come out victorious. And, and I just want Bobcat fans to remember someone who plays with a lot of heart and a lot of passion. Well, and everyone can see that passion on the field, but you know, in the classroom, they can't see that. You've already got a degree, you're passionate about, you know, what's next after football, what is that? 
hopefully running my own business. That's, that's definitely the plan and that's the goal. We're gonna make it happen at some point. It's gonna be here in Montana. So I'm looking forward to that. Absolutely. Well, and you know, how does football and your you know, desire to run a business one day correlate? What can you take away from the game of football? You know, it goes back to that same thing. I think passion, you know, I have a passion for, for football, just like I'm gonna have a passion for my profession, whatever business that may be. And, and it's gonna help, you know, I wanna just drive my own ship and express that passion in my own way. Well, if you're as passionate about laying people out on the field, I'm sure we'll see that crushing it in the business world as well. Good luck this fall. Appreciate it, thank you. Run it up, run it up, run it up, run it up, run it up.